G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com. Today I'm here with Adobe Photoshop Elements 12 to show you some of the great new features. Today I'm going to be looking inside the photo editor to see the cool new effects that you can add to your photos instantly and easily. So if you love Instagram on your phone, you'll love this. Let's click on Photo Editor to get started. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the big open button to open a file I want to work on. Then I'm going to use the crop tool to make it a square photo so it looks a bit like Instagram. So I'll grab the crop tool and I'll type in 4x4 because that's the size of an Instagram photo. I'm just going to click and drag and then move around my cropped area until I'm happy with how it lines up. I'm going to use the rule of thirds to line up the eyes so they look straight out at you. Click the green check mark to apply. And when you're happy with how it looks, click the green check mark to apply. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to add some effects. I'm just going to click on the effects button and then Photoshop Elements will preview my image for me. I like this fun light leak effect. Why not add some textures just for fun? Some of them are a little overpowering but this one works well. Now it's time to add a frame. You've got a selection of frames uh, but I'm just going to go with a white frame. Now we're all done. I'll click File Save As and I'm going to save it as a Photoshop document so that I can edit the layers later. If you're interested, you can go over to expert mode where you can see all the layers that make up your end photograph. If I want to print this photo or save it as a JPEG to upload it to Flickr or any other file sharing sites, you can go to File, Save As, JPEG and click save. Just need to make sure you set it to the highest resolution possible to get a really good print. If you're just um, uploading it for the web you don't need to worry about that. Now I've shown you this on a nice square photo but of course you can go into quick edit mode and apply those changes to any size or shape photo you like. You're not restricted to squares and you can have a lot of fun playing with your photos. If you'd like to learn more about photo editing and digital scrapbooking, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com. Thanks for watching.